We'll have some mountain snow on the way as we trek through the work week, starting with the gorgeous shot oh, of yeah. Big Cottonwood Canyon. Hi, Monday. Gosh, I'm just not upset with you when you show up like this. We've got snow in the high country with really healthy snowpack. Chris Williams catching this one for Big Cottonwood Canyon. It's lovely to see that. And you still see those Utah snowpack numbers in a healthy category. Look at southern, eastern, and south central Utah. Really great to see basins throughout the state exceeding average this time of year, so above 100%, above the median there, and we're sitting at 113% of average. So basically a dry stretch could threaten these percents, and we don't want that to happen. We're starting dry today, but we do have an active pattern right around the corner. Really pretty shot coming out of Horn Mountain, so gorgeous in central Utah where we have snow, clear skies, the sun's going to be going down, a few clouds sneaking through, but we're staying dry. That will be the case tonight and as we head into tomorrow. Considerable avalanche danger in Salt Lake, Provo and the western Uintas as well as Moab. So even as the storms move on, the threat in the high country and back country does not, especially when we have warming. We know some of that snow can crack and slide very easily, so you have to use an extreme amount of caution when you head into the back country. High pressure driving the bus and more westerly flow behind it. We put this into motion in the last few hours and we see just a few clouds sneaking underneath the ridge that's going to gradually flatten as we get through the week here and we bring back wet weather. My view from the ABC4 studios, 44 degrees, and you see the haze, but I have been checking and we are still sitting in the green, but I notice it, you notice it, but right now, no elevated particulate matter. We have a few more weeks of inversion season before we roll into March and that solar angle changes, but clean air out there as we speak. 30s and 40s along the Wasatch Front, upper 30s in Provo, just above freezing in Vernal, 40 in Moab, 40s for the I-15 corridor and 54 in St. George. Along the Wasatch Front, partly cloudy skies. Heading into tonight with those 30s, we'll hit freezing by ABC4 News at 10, but staying dry tonight, and that will be the case on the horizon tomorrow. Futurecast, as we put this into motion, shows that ridge of high pressure flattening just a little bit with an approaching system that will graze northern Utah and bring the potential for some light mountain showers. Here we go go late tomorrow night and into Wednesday, most likely for the high country, but can't rule out a sprinkle in the valley. We see that that extends into central Utah by early Wednesday morning. So mountain showers and then we get increasing cloud cover and a little bit of a more potent system as we roll into Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Watch that clock in the corner of your screen. Here comes the potential for that wet weather, valley rain, mountain snow, showers Thursday night heading into Friday morning. That could extend as far south as Cedar City. We'll see how it shapes up. Notice that snow favors the northern and central mountains, kind of the southern end of the Wasatch there through Thursday night so we could see some accumulating snow. And as we look at the big picture, it shows how we set up for a pretty active pattern. So we flatten the ridge and bring in, yeah, that wet weather into Thursday. High pressure slides in between, but then we get that out of here by the weekend and we see active conditions setting up in the Pacific. Now that actually lines up with the long range here. Six to 10 day outlook brings above average chances of wet weather for the entire Beehive State and the West. This put out by the Climate Prediction Center, but our future cast goes, yeah, I agree with that. So the potential for that wet weather comes right on back. We don't quiet for too long. 40s for tomorrow with average daytime highs, 50 in Moab, 57 in St. George with the warming trend underway. High pressure does that and it does it well. St. George looking nice, looking like I'm going to love it on Wednesday, Valentine's Day with the upper 50s and mostly sunny skies in the south. The Wasatch Front, we've got 40s, but we warm as well. I think the holiday looks like I'm going to have heart eyes. I'm the emoji. We do get some wet weather moving in Thursday into Friday and then a more active pattern for the weekend. Really nice start to Monday. Tuesday will be just as wonderful. Fantastic. Yeah. Look at that good news. Good news. It's what I do. How about that? <laughs> Thanks for the love. Oh, you did that. Oh, the heart eyes. Heart eyes. <laughs> we got it.